guys welcome back so this is actually the final video that we'll actually be doing um in terms of building this app we'll have one more video after this which isn't related to actually directly coding but it's more a challenge for you guys to basically test and just you know think about you know your knowledge as well on what we've been building so far so in this video we're basically gonna be talking about ab foundation so ab foundation is apple's framework that allows you to basically play videos and audio so let's just get straight in and let's look at how we can make this football start playing some chance. So we basically, first of all, need to create a view model in it. And then what we want to do is create a brand new Swift file in the folder view model. And then what we're going to call this view model is audio manager view model. So audio manager view model. And this is basically going to be our class that we use to basically play um, the football chants. So the first thing we need to do is import what AV kit. And what AV kit includes, like I said before in the little bit of the intro, is it basically includes all the functionality to play audio, videos, etc. So let's write that now. So let's start that now, I should say. So let's create our class audio manager view model cool and basically what we need to do is we basically need to get the chant file that we specified um i don't know if you remember way back so way 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 back if we go to resources and then teams we have a property in our extension for the team type if you scroll all the way down to the bottom we have all our chant files here so we basically need to play this. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a function that allows you to basically play that chant in it. So let's do that now. So funk uh, playback, and then we're going to say underscore team, and then team. And then what we need to basically say do now is, let's just write a comment. So if, the sound is already playing. Stop it. If it isn't, then play it. All right, calm. So what we're gonna do here is just in, just go create a global uh, property in this class. Call it Chant Audio Player which is of type AV audio player. So AV audio player is the uh, object that will basically hold our audio file and play it. And we need to basically create a global reference to it so it doesn't get lost in memory. Um, so what we need to do now is check. So if we look, if the sound is already playing, then stop it. So let's do that first. So if team is playing, then we just simply say chant the audio player dot stop. Pretty straightforward. Or else, what we want to do is we want to basically find that file, and then we need to play it. So let's do that now. So what we need to do is we need to look for the file in the bundle. So I'm just gonna write this out first, and then we'll come come back and discuss it in a second. So guard let path bundle.main.path or resource and we're going to say team.id dot chant file we need to put this in a string and then we're going to say dot mp3 and then nil and then else return. Okay, cool. So let's break this down, what we just wrote. So what we're basically saying here is we're using a guard statement. So think about a guard in it, like a bouncer who won't let you into a club. And he's basically like, not tonight, lads. That's all this basically is. If this condition fails, then it's literally going to be like, not tonight, lads. You can't come in. So we're basically just going to return nothing and the bundle dot main is basically the bundle of 
this project. So if we just go into here and we go to build phases and then we look for a couple of bundled resources, this is the bundle that we're referencing. So we're basically saying look for that chant file in this list of resources that we added to the bundle. So we can find that if it can find the MP3 file from that list of resources, then it will literally put it inside of this constant called path, right? So then what we need to do is we basically need to create the uh, path to that file so we can play it. So the next thing we need to do is create a URL. So we're gonna say URL is equal to URL and then file with path and then path. So now we have our URL to that file in the bundle. And then what we need to do is play it. So what we're gonna say here is we're just gonna use a do catch. And if this is new to you, I'll explain what this is in a second. So print error. And then we're gonna say here, chant audio player is equal to try audio AV audio player. And then we're gonna say here, content of uh, URL, and then we're going to say here, we want to set the number of the loops to negative one, and then we want to play the audio. Cool. So let's break down what we just wrote. So this do catch is basically something that we use to basically capture exceptions and errors, because there's always a possibility that this could fail. And rather than crashing, rather than crashing the app, we basically will just print an error to the console. So that's what do catch does. So normally in these situations, what you'd actually do um, is you'd actually throw back this error um, in this function, and then you display it on the screen with like an alert or something. But because we're just keeping this really simple, we'll just go print it to the console for now. So in the do, we basically say try to create a new instance of an AV audio player. If this fails, it'll just print an error. Then we set number of loops to negative one. And what this basically means is it will just create an infinite loop. So if the song finishes playing, it'll just keep on looping forever. And then we just simply say, play. All right, cool. So now that we've created our class and um, it meets the requirements of what we want, what we're actually gonna do is integrate this into our content view. So if we just go back to content view, at the top here, we're simply just gonna create a new instance of our audio manager. So let's just say here, so private let audio manager. And then we're just gonna call this audio manager view model. Okay, cool. So audio manager. And then all we need to do now is just call the function that we just created to basically play the song. So it's important to say, it's important to um, also um, note as well to put it here first. So let's just say audio manager dot playback and then select the team. And what this is going to do is going to check the current state of the team as to whether it should play the song or not. And then um, it'll play the song or not. So let's test this out now. So what we're going to do is just briefly take this out of full screen and then let's just run the app cool and then let's just click arsenal and see if it plays and as you can see when i tap on it again it stops playing the audio so we just scroll down and just choose a different team and then play another song. We'll see if it starts and stops between them. And as you can see, it's stopping and starting between those three teams. So let's play one up here and then scroll all the way down and play another one.
And as you can see, as we're going through all the different teams, we were easily, you know, just playing the sounds and all, sounds and audio. So great, we basically built this up and um, we're now all certified Gs in it. So we basically just built that up. So hopefully you learned a lot on this um, mini series, mini course, I'd like to call it. Um, but what I do want you guys to do is to make sure that you basically rewatch all the videos that I've basically just done for this so you can understand the concept. Also as well, you can leave any comments in the comment section below and um, with any interesting findings that you found or just to spark some discussions. As always, um, leave feedback as well for videos like this if you like them. If you want me to do a different type of video, I'm open to any sort of feedback and criticism because obviously this is a brand new channel. And as always, like, share and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in a bit. Deuces.